How's it going guys? Welcome to the Diamond Matter channel. If you're new to me, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm Chris Bilton. I was a professional jeweler with over 20 years experience in the UK. But then I moved to Japan, but I'm still keeping my skills alive by making jewelry, making instructional videos and putting them on YouTube. So welcome. Please hit like and subscribe to, uh, to help the channel grow. Um, right, let me start by saying thank you to the two new patrons we got the last few days. We got Sarah Witkowski and Dean Canard. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you becoming patrons. Uh, really helps the channel grow. Like maintains my ability to to do to do to do more, basically, which I'm actually eager to do. So yeah, thank you very much to the new patrons, and thank you to all the patrons. If you want to help the channel grow yourself, uh, there's links in the description to to show you where to go to do that. Um, right, today it's a video. I want to talk about our hand tools like all these things that they're all like designed all designed and made like with like a collaboration between the people using them the experts the jewelers people on the ground floor in the workshops and uh engineers the machinists like the tool suppliers so uh so yeah i want to make a video a little bit about explaining how like certain professionals would come together and collaborate and actually go through the process of designing and creating these tools so uh enjoy Come in. The new rolling mills are ready for you to look at, sir. Oh, great. Be down in a second. Okay, sir. We're ready when you are. Okay, so we've spoken to all the jewellers and everyone's raising concerns about this flat oh, section okay across now. the middle. It's not wide enough. This is only 50 mil. Quite often jewellers are putting metal through sideways oh. to widen it, like for large collets or ring shanks. I'll do that. Um, if this was just a little bit longer, because an uh, average ring size circumference is 60 oh, is mil, it? this isn't as long as that. So uh, it's oh, causing dear. problems for how narrow it is. In fact, the whole thing could be wider and that would give you more choice for extra grooves, gives, gives the oh, rollers... Yeah more usability, more, more things we can do with it. So uh, yeah, basically the whole unit wider so we can get that wider flat and then have more choice of mm, grooves okay. to shape the metal. Also, you suggested yes. that we should yes. put numbers around here, like measurements. No jewelers oh. are ever relying on those oh numbers. They, they simply roll their metal through and then use their calipers oh, to, they to get what, they've, what they want. So we're suggesting changes oh, of no numbers on top because they're just useless and no one ever needs them. Uh, the, uh, certainly the flat section should be wider by at least another 10 mil and perhaps even the whole roller can be wider by another 10, 15, 20 mil and uh, that will give you more options for putting more grooves in that can be, so the whole unit will be more useful okay. to jewellers yeah. using. No, we ain't doing none of that. Oh, no. Um, why not? Surely it's going to be more more useful to, to jewellers. Because fuck them, that's oh. why. Put numbers on the top. But we never nah, use them. I don't care. Put numbers on the fucking top. This, 50 mil's fine. There's not enough space to put things yeah. through. I don't care. Don't care. 50 mil is enough. <sighs> All right. Well, what do you reckon they should retail for? Eight hundred and fifty quid. <coughs> Ah, what an honour it was to spend time with Mr. Burston himself, head of Burston Tools, and the engineers and all the guys down there, what a great group of people. So next I was interested in visiting Binstrom. Binstrom are a company world renowned for their high quality pliers that they manufacture. So let's go see how they produce their tools. <laughs> Sorry to bother you sir, we've got the new prototype pliers ready for you. Ah, Gary! Come on in. Have a look at all this cash. Oh, impressive. Um, uh, you wanted to see the new pliers? Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Let's have a look. Very nice, very nice. Nice size, not too heavy, comfortable. Have you uh, made the, um, the handles in a, in a cheap, horrible plastic that goes immediately dirty as soon as someone puts their hands on them? And did you glue those handles on really poorly? So even after a small amount of use, jewelers will constantly be having to slide them back on. I can see you have, you've done that very well. And the other side? Oh, look at that, slides right off, brilliant. 
About the price, what were you thinking? Well, considering the shapes are just two bits of cast steel ground off of the end to whatever shape we want it to be, and then a cheap bit of plastic glued on the end quite badly, uh, they don't even cost us like one pound to make. So we were thinking a recommended retail price that's respectful to the customer, but also greatly beneficial to us would be like £14.99, we think would be, would be fair. Let's have a look. Fourteen ninety nine. That would be a fair price. Forty. <laughs> Fifty quid. You're taking the piss out of jewellers. Fuck them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching and especially a big thank you to Mr. Burston and Mr. Binstrom at Binstrom Tools. Uh, it was a privilege to spend time with you and witness firsthand how tools are designed and created and, and the whole process and how it happens. So it was an honor, thank you. And um, also I'd like to say thank you like from myself and on behalf of all jewelers, like thank you for your hard work and your innovation on jewelry making tools. Um, I can't think of any way how they could be changed or updated or any new ones, like I've got no idea. I, I, we're just fine with all, all the same ones we've been using for like the last hundred years, it's great. Um, so yeah, thanks again. And uh, if you're watching this, uh, you wanna help me do more videos, you're, it would be appreciated if you just click like and subscribe, that's the simplest thing to do. Uh, if you wanna take it a step further, you can become a patron or a Dynamata member, there's a few perks. Uh, so yeah, you can read about that. Links in the description and all that. And um, yeah, hope you, Join me again on the Diamond Map channel. See you then. Bye. Okay, sir. We're ready when you are. Okay, sir. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, so... <coughs> okay, so we're ready when you are.